comedy. Dicky Suryat Maja says he loves North American comedy movies, so much so he learned to speak English watching them with Indonesian subtitles. So to just by osmosis. reading those subtitles and listening to what they're saying, you were yeah. able to pick up the language. It's osmosis. Osmosis. Yeah. At just 12 years old, he's very humble, despite having accomplished so much. Now he's about to embark on his biggest challenge yet. He starts classes next week at the University of Waterloo, where he'll be taking honors level courses like math, chemistry, and economics. What do you expect campus life is going to be like? I expect it to be, uh, I expect it to have lots of assignment. And I expect to make lots of new friends, which I can socialize with and talk to. I'm very optimistic about the about the university. Andre Jardin is the associate registrar of admissions at the University of Waterloo, which consistently ranks as one of the top schools in the country. He's amongst the strongest students coming into science this year. Jardin says Dickey's application was so impressive, it's hard to believe it came from a 12-year-old. The first reaction is just to double check that our facts are correct because we see thousands of applications, so you want to make sure that you have the right birth date. Beyond his years academically, Dickey does have much to learn about his new home here. He arrived in Canada three days ago. Canadian geese. Yeah. Is this the first time you're seeing Canadian geese in person? Yes, I never. He says so far the biggest challenge has been adjusting to the new culture. Do you, you don't like the food so much? Well, not too. I think I eat different types of food. I love McDonald's. You like McDonald's? Everyone loves McDonald's. It makes you happy. That's why it's got a happy meal. <laughs> Unlike other new university students, Dickey won't be without his parents. His dad will be living with him in this apartment. One thing they'll learn together is about Canadian winters. What's the coldest weather that you've ever seen? Putting my head in the refrigerator. That's the coldest you've ever seen? Yeah. Dickey says because he's looking forward to playing in the, in the snow and trying ice skating. Greg Ross, CBC News, Waterloo.